When you're an Igniter SMP, you never know what's gonna happen. One day, I'm minding my own business, chopping these lovely oak leaves, and the next thing I know, I'm in a massive creative world, designing a ginormous castle for Skunk Monkey. And when I say ginormous, I mean absolutely huge. Just look at this. I'm Dippy Blether, this is episode 13 of Igniter SMP, and this is probably my favorite building ever. In the last episode, Skunk Monkey asked me for help. Yeah. Yes, so tell me about those leaves. Um, <laughs> I, I, I currently um, haven't got anything urgent to do, so if you want help with something, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Yeah. What's, what's the problem? So I've got a... I've got a gigantic game that's got gigantic trees, which means I need a gigantic, gigantic amount of leaves. Like kind of right. So how many how many leaves do you actually need? I would say about six chests worth, or six shulkers, or however you six, want to say it. Yeah. Six. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of leaves. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want, I can show you the the tree that needs the leaves. Yeah. Sure. Hang on a minute. You know Scar from Hermitcraft. You know he he, you uh, know, he yes, likes building yes. big trees and stuff like that, right? Uh -huh, well, uh -huh. the first right, thing right. he always gets before anything else is a diamond hole because holes are so good for for leaves. It's it's this way over okay. here. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I can see it from here. That's enormous. Wow. Whoop. Uh, I don't know where you went. Hello. I'm behind you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, I yeah. can see why you need a lot of leaves. Big tree there. Big tree yeah, there. Yeah, and this is where your this is where your game is gonna go. Okay. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Wow. So, what kind of a game are you building? So this is like an RPG game where you take on the role of like a wizard or a ranger or someone and you fight the bad guys and you level up and get skills and Ooh, yeah. that sounds really interesting. Okay, I'm going to quickly woo, go down here and have a look. This is how tall is this tree? It's um yay tall yay tall <laughs> oh that that's that's very that's yeah. very that's very tall yay is very so i got a sneaky sneak preview of this amazing game and of course i agreed to do the leaves and then i said something silly oh or maybe not you need anything else done here this is a huge project i've got a um a massive building that i haven't even started designing for the front of this thing wow. so yeah there's there's a bit of work to okay, do okay cool Okay, so basically, you see all these 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 trees. They need to be they need to be denuded of their of their their leaves with the whole whole whole. Go away! I don't like you. Look how he's running. <laughs> okay, so we are in a slightly dangerous place because clearly this is a um, uh <laughs> clearly this is a oh that sort of forest where the baddies live, and. Uh, yeah, I have my trusty bow here. That's 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 actually quite good. Yeah, no, not another one. Why are there so many zombies? Go away! I don't like you. I missed. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I what? No, not more. Oh, another. My. Is this like? Is this like some sort of joke? Why am I? Why? Why am I working here? This is insane. I don't like this workplace. There is no workplace safety here. Oh no, oh no, those guys. Not those guys. <laughs> Dead, okay. Oh boy. Oh, there's more. Where are they? I just heard something. Where are those boys? What is going on? I come here to work and I hear these guys. <coughs> Dead. As I was about to say before I got so rudely interrupted, let's get cracking with the leaves. Here's a montage of me collecting tons of leaves and I even made a custom song about it. Enjoy! I'm getting leaves like a pro Enchanted ho Good times with Scar Does it so 
My magic hoe's the way to go Right, six shulker boxes and several dead zombies later, it's time to tidy up some of these tree stumps. Okay. Holy guacamole, there's a lot of trees missing uh, here. Yeah, yeah. Or... Um, so I have, uh, I've got your, your, your leaves, they're in the shulker boxes down there. Oh, I was just about to, awesome. to, to chop down some more of these. Uh... Where are you? I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, here. I'm here. I, I was, I, I was just going to kind of tidy up a bit because there's a lot of very ah. ugly tree stumps now. No, you're not wrong. You're yeah, not wrong. that's that's kind of not good. No, no. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, have fun with your leaves, and uh, I'll I'll yep. I'll I'll leave you alone now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <Thank> you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But of course, that was the end of that. Skunk Monkey actually did take me up on my offer to help some more. Maybe as a revenge for the bad punning, I don't know. But he asked me to actually build the giant entrance area for the game, the castle. I love building, and to be involved in such a fabulous project, I'm really thrilled. So Skunk Monkey took me to his planning world, and what you see below is the ground plan that he has for his castle. The pink area is the lobby, and those colored areas to the sides are the skill trees where you can choose what role you're going to play and the green stuff that is the cubicles where the players set their spawn and so forth. The empty areas and underneath is all redstone so I have to stay pretty closely to this layout. So basically I've got to build a big square which is a bit of a problem if you want to build something interesting and of course I want to build something interesting that goes with the vibe of the game so it's a bit of a challenge but I'm looking forward to it. First of all, I looked at tons of pictures of castles for inspiration. Elendonnen Castle in the Highlands. Very cool, but not a rectangle. Castle Neuschwanstein in Bavaria. Very beautiful, but definitely not a rectangle. Too grey, but I love the moat. Ha! Huh, that's not even a real castle! Now this French castle is really cool. It's got a moat and it's almost a rectangle. I think I've found my inspiration. So this is step one. I've planned the whole shape of the castle just in big blocks. It's just grey wool and cyan wool. And as you can see, I've changed the shape a little bit. I've pulled out the front a little bit and pushed that middle section backwards a bit. Uh, but I think that's going to be okay. And yeah, it's got lovely towers. It's got space for everything that Skunk Monkey needs. And now I need to go and texture it all up. But for that, we need to decide on a color scheme. Luckily, I've just done a whole tutorial about the new tough blocks and I really want to use them. So I really like this color scheme here. This is tough with quartz and some copper and warped wood. And I think it looks super elegant. I really, really like it. So I think that would be a nice color scheme for our castle. So here you can see my block palette. And yeah, you will probably say, why are there so many blocks? Well, the palette is actually only the bit in the middle. On the left and the right, I have basically made a little bit of a pick and mix area. All the blocks that I will need so that I can just come over here and I can just click on them because I'm in creative. And if you've got everything laid out, you just go over here and you just take what you need. And that's how I work. It makes life so much easier. And I also have to keep in mind that we have to build this in survival eventually. So I'm trying not to go completely overboard with the expensive blocks. And ta-da! After many hours of carefully texturing and detailing this whole castle, it's done. And of course I'm a numpty. I didn't take any footage of this. So here is the finished work and I am actually really, really pleased with this. Let me move a bit closer and show you some of my favorite bits. This is the drawbridge and the moat. I put lots of plants in there and some lights. And as you can see, I have put all the greener blocks like the tuff and some of the mossy cobblestone and even some green concrete at the bottom because when stones are near water, that's what they do. They get a bit mossy and green and moldy looking. Let's go in through the gate and as you can see, I have used statues in the sides and also in the niches. And if you look up there, I've made one of those things that fall down. I think it's called a portcullis because castles have that for protection, right? Here at the entrance, I've put this cage. It'll have a skeleton in it eventually. And I love this stained glass window here. It's actually not made out of stained glass. It's actually made out of glazed terracotta 
and a little bit of glow lichen over the top. And as you can see, the colors get lighter as you move up. I've used a variety of darker blocks to create some sort of shade effect. So where the light would not fall like under these windows here, I would just put a little darker block there. And of course we need lots of cute little whimsical details like this roof here with the multi layers and a little flag. This big tower here is completely empty, it's just for show, but look, lots of flags and lots of tiny little windows in the roof and lots of little twiddly bits. And that, by the way, is an architectural term. That is really what they're called, twiddly bits. And I made all these niches with little statues in them. I think it looks really cool. Let's look at the roof up here. I'm really proud of that one. Not just the funny bit at the top, but also all the gradients. I've used pretty much any cyan block that I could think of, from dark prismarine to copper, and it looks fantastic. And the flat roof areas here, they will be exposed to the weather. So I've broken them up with mossy cobblestone, mossy bricks, and all sorts of other different stones to make it look as natural as possible. All these textures were placed by hand because I think if you use the automatic block mix function, it always looks a bit artificial. I've put some more stained glass at the back of the building so it lets some real light into the main hall. And I've lit everything up so it looks pretty cool at night. Have a look at this. Well, that's the outside done. Now, the inside isn't done yet, but I've got a rough idea of what's gonna happen in here. So, yeah, this is the grand hall, and uh, this is where you start the game. You can be a warrior, a wizard, a rogue, or a ranger, and you choose what you do in these big rooms here. I love how the light falls in here. I'm definitely gonna have some fun with that when I design these rooms. And each one is gonna be different. Every player has their own little cubicle where they can set their spawn. And that's as far as I got. I'm going to do the inside in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this castle as much as I do. Have a hippy dippy day and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.